The Verdun Gorge is a river canyon located in the Provence Alpes Côte d'Azur region of southeastern France. It is about 25 kilometers long and up to 700 meters deep. It was formed by the Verdun River, which is named for its turquoise green color, one of the location's distinguishing characteristics. In between the towns of Castellane and Musches Saint Marie, the river has cut a ravine to a depth of 700 meters through the limestone mass. At the end of the canyon, the Verdun flows into the artificial lake of Saint Croix. The gorge is very popular with tourists, who can drive around its rim, rent kayaks to travel on the river, or hike. The limestone walls, which are several hundreds of meters high, attract many rock climbers. It is considered an outstanding destination for multi-pitch climbing, with 1,500 routes available ranging from 20 meters to over 400 meters. During the Triassic period, the Provence subsided and was covered by the sea, leaving thick layers of various limestone deposits. Several million years later, with the arrival of the Jurassic period, the area was covered by a warm shallow sea, which allowed the growth of various corals. The Cretaceous period saw what is now Bas Provence being raised in the sea reaching the current location of the Alps, which were themselves erected during the Tertiary era. As a result of the large-scale geological activity, many of the Jurassic limestone deposits fractured, forming relief with valleys and other such features. The origins of the Verdun Gorge can be traced to this era. The dawn of the Quaternary period had large-scale glaciation, transforming water pockets and lakes into rivers of ice, which remodeled the topography, scouring and striating the landscape. At the end of this activity, erosion by rivers continued, forming the gorge as it is today. The Verdun's riverbed was scoured for a second time of the accumulated coral and limestone sediments, by a water delivery rate nearing 2,000 to 3,000 cubic meters per second. The gorge was described in printed form from 1782 and 1804. By the second half of the 19th century, it was featured in French tourist guides. According to Graham Robb's book The Discovery of France, the gorge did not become known outside France until 1906. On July 10, 2006, the Council of State annulled the declaration of public use of a project by EDF relating to a proposed high-voltage line which would have had to pass through the Verdun Gorge. This decision ended 23 years of struggle by public groups and associations of environmental defense to preserve a site of exceptional natural interest, of which a part contains protected animal and plant species. A view of the Verdun Gorge from the Falesdal Scales Dam of Saint Croix, seen from the low gorges of Bodinar the source of the Verdun is close to the Col de Los Hill in the Trois-Eveches mountain range. Whence it continues, flowing into the Durance River near Vine and Sur Verdun after traveling 175 kilometers. Between Castellane and the Galitas Bridge, the river passes through the Lake of Saint Croix, created by the construction of a dam of the same name. Before the dam was constructed, the village of Les Sol sur Verdun occupied the river plain. To create the reservoir, the village was destroyed in 1973. Les Sol sur Verdun was reconstructed as a more modern settlement higher up the valley. Today, it is the youngest village in France. For some distance the Verdun Gorge forms the border between the departments of Var de South and Alpes de Haute Provence to the north in the Provence Alpes Côte d'Azur region. This region between Castellane and the Lac de Saint Croix is called the Gorges du Verdun, or Verdun Gorge. It is split into three distinct parts. The Verdun Gorge is narrow and deep, with depths of 250 to 700 meters and widths of 6 to 100 meters at the level of the Verdun River. It is 200 to 1,500 meters wide from one side of the gorge to the other at the summits. The gorge has been compared to the Grand Canyon in the United States. View of the entrance to the Verdun Gorge with the Lake of Saint Croix in the foreground. Between 1929 and 1975, five dams were erected on the course of the Verdun, between Castellane and Griu Les Bains. These dams hold back water in the following reservoirs the Styx du Verdun, the Styx du Verdun, associated with the river Styx of Greek mythology, is an area of UB Canyon within the gorge. The Imbut, also known as Imbut or Imbuke, is an area where the Verdun disappears underground beneath enormous rock structures, before re-emerging above ground. The Pont de Chalier over the river Artubi the Verdun Gorge attracts numerous tourists, especially during the summer period. The river's turquoise color is associated with glacial sources and the minerals of rock flower suspended in the water. It is easily accessible on its right bank from the north, and on its left bank from the south. The most common hikes in the gorge include, the Santé Martel, was laid out in 1928 by the Touring Club de France. It was named in 1930 to honor the explorer Edouard Alfred Martel. 
Martel had visited the Verdon in 1905 as an employee of the Southeast Electricity Company, carrying out precise geological surveys of the river. On 11th of August, he and his team began an expedition of the region. Their successful arrival at the Pas de Galitas marked the completion of the first expedition of the Verdon Canyon. Other expeditions to the Verdon included Martel's team the following year, followed by Robert de Jolie, who in 1928 was the first to completely cross the Verdon Gorge. Thanks for watching.